Hello and welcome back. Today's video is all about the Squire Hank Marvin Stratocaster. This is Everything Guitar. What more is there left to be said about Hank Marvin? His real name was Brian Robson Rankin and is a highly influential British guitarist. He was born in October 1941 in Newcastle upon Tyne and he played a crucial role in popularising instrumental rock music in the UK during the 1960s and beyond. He's often regarded as one of the pioneers of the electric guitar sound and has left a lasting impact on generations of guitarists. And you will hear people like Jeff Beck, Gary Moore, George Harrison, and many others, of course, saying what an influence that Hank Marvin was to them. Hank Marvin's career took off in the late 1950s when he teamed up with Bruce Welsh to form The Shadows. They served as a backing band for British singer Cliff Richard and they had many hits in that era. And the Shadows themselves explored instrumental music so they started having hits of their own with songs like Apache, Atlantis, Contiki, Foot Tapper, Wonderful Land. These songs not only achieved commercial success, but also left a significant impact on the development of popular music and guitar playing. Hank Marvin's guitar style was characterised by a clean-ish melodic sound, utilising the Fender Stratocasters, mainly the bridge tones. And his use of the tremolo arm helped to make the phrases sing and move, and it gave them a vocal style. But he was also a pioneer of echo effects. The Stratocaster sound plus echo was the major part of the sound and his use of the Vox AC30 which is a very distinctive sounding valve amp. So you have compression, that honky EQ and chimes on the top end, then you have the echoes and then that bridge driving sound from the Stratocaster. Hank Marvin was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994 as a member of the Shadows. Dating from 1991, Fender decided to bring out a new line of Squire guitars from the Fujigen factory in Japan. And they decided to start this range that they would have a premium Squire Hank Marvin signature model. And they made them in very limited numbers. And the idea from Hank Marvin was to have a student guitar that would be suitable for a beginner. Now at the time, or a little bit before that, he had a book for students and he was already recommending Squire guitars. Squire had been sending him guitars and he approved them straight away. So he wasn't really too fussy when it came to the signature model. Now around that time Fender were talking to Hank Marvin about a signature instrument for themselves, a USA built signature model. And they were in discussions about the pickups and they were pushing their lace sensor pickups at the time. And apparently Hank Marvin didn't like them. And it is said that he liked the DiMarzio FS1 fat strap pickups for the bridge. So the colour is Fiesta Red. The neck shape, it's got a medium fatness to it, so it's a 50s style, it's not overly fat. So yes, the neck material is maple. The neck plate is a 4 bolt, 21 frets, fingerboard radius 7.25 inches, which is 184 millimeters. Fingerboard material is maple. Scale length 25.5 inches which is 648 millimeters. Onto the electronics 
three single coils, five way selector switch, volume, tone one, tone two. Now the pickups themselves are ceramics and they have ceramics with bar magnets across their bases. But it's said that they have quite a thick sound for a slim single coil. And the pots themselves are the mini type pots. The tuners are Goto, and there's a vintage style six saddle bridge with obviously the tremolo arm wang bar. The pickups themselves are very low output. The rear pickup reads 4.7 kilo ohms. You'd normally expect to see readings of about 5.5 to 6 kilo ohms for a vintage pickup. Incredibly low, that is. And the same pretty much for the middle pickup, 4.71. And for the front pickup, 4.76. They're actually the lowest output of any single coil guitars that I have ever measured. Quite surprising. Now as for the sound, well given what we know about what Hank Marvin thought about the Squires, he just said yes they're a good beginner guitar. Obviously the cost was an issue and he was quite keen to have students play his guitars. What we can say is the pickups are adequate.
So that was the Squire Hank Marvin Stratocaster and I think that it's a nice instrument and it looks very good. The stock pickups of Microphonic very bright and quite brittle and when you compare it to the Damasio FS1 you can hear how that pickup just rounds off that top end. So I hope it was helpful anyway. As always let me know in the comments what you think. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.